Clip 2, Press Conference, Green Action for Health and Environmental Justice. Philip Burton, Federal Building, San Francisco, Friday, June 28, 2024. Green Action files federal lawsuit against the U.S. Navy and the Federal Environmental Protection Agency for failure to conduct proper cleanup of radioactive and toxic waste at Hunters Point Naval Shipyard Superfund site. Video presented by Carol Harvey, investigator, reporting on Superfund site, former Naval Station Treasure Island in San Francisco Bay. First speaker, Art Persico, San Francisco Gray Panthers. It brings me great pleasure to bring up my, well, this is Gray Panthers. I'm a Gray Panthers uh, person. So, <laughs> therefore, I want to bring up Art. Come here and take it away. Hi, my name is Art Persico. I'm with the San Francisco Gray Panthers, and we're here to stand in solidarity with the residents of Bayview Hunters Point and support the lawsuit by Green Action for the contamination and failure to clean up the Navy's Superfund site. And we commiserate with the harm that's been done. It's also spreading to other communities because of sea level rises. A great concern. That's right. 24 years ago, San Francisco voters passed Proposition P, demanding that the shipyard be cleaned to the highest EPA standards for unrestricted use. In 2022, the San Francisco Grand Jury highlighted concerns about sea level rise spreading beyond Hunters Point. The SF Gray Panthers support the SF voters and the Beaver Hunters Point community advocating for 100% cleanup, not capping of radioactive and toxic waste and 100% retesting of Tetratech's fraudulent work. The testing and cleanup of the radioactive and toxic contamination has been plagued with fraud and inadequate cleanup. We decry this environmental racism, and I now want to introduce my colleague, Michael Lyon of the Great SF Gray Panthers. Thanks, Art. Michael Lyon, San Francisco Gray Panthers. Hey, thank you. Uh, to repeat, San Francisco Gray Panthers is solidly behind this suit. We demand complete removal of radioactive and toxic materials from Hunters Point and Treasure Island. No development on contaminated land. Full DPH attention to Bayview Hunters Point and Treasure Islands epidemics of cancer and asthma, including free biomonitoring for all residents on demand. We want full disclosure of the city and local politicians' efforts to push development on this contaminated land despite the risks. And we want criminal action against the Tetra Tech officials who knowingly went through Yes. Yeah. Yes. This is all about racism and capitalism. Yes, it yes, is. Yes, it is. Thank you. Thank you Thanks. so much. Thank you.